next year, continuing with technology still. Speaking of Apple, now, for those who are interested in, you know, search engine, looking for stuff, who's your go-to guy here or go-to search engine? It's obviously Google, right? And guess what? There will be a contender in the very near future. Not, not now, but very soon. Well, based on the article, that Apple is planning to create its own search engine to compete with the likes of app, uh, Google's uh, search engine as well as Yahoo's, uh, I think Microsoft Bing search engine. So if you think, if you look at this closely, Apple is trying to dominate the world in terms of providing different facets, diversifying their product line, not just in terms of mobile phone, laptops, you know, its ecosystem of its experience. Now, it's trying to branch out into, you know, in the application form with its, you know, issue with, with Microsoft, with Facebook, you know, they're trying to compete with everyone else, right? Obviously, they have the cloud and the resources to do that. Now, why the sudden shift, right? Obviously, right as of right now, if you're a MacBook user or Apple user, whether you're using your smartphone or in your tablet or, 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 or desktop or even your laptop, you know, the, the search engine that is preferred here or that is being used, you can see here is, it's still Google, right? Because Google paid a substantial amount in terms of, what do you call this? A substantial amount in terms of being the preferred search engine. I think they paid, paid in terms of billions, right? Yeah, billions, right? That's right. To be able to be the preferred search engine here. Now, obviously, if you're Apple here, you're thinking to yourself, hmm, maybe I could take a piece of it and, you know, have, instead of being paid billions, why not earn more than that? Now, is that too greedy in your opinion? Eh, you know, that's their right as a business, but which leads us to another point. Is Apple going, growing too big? Similar how Apple, Facebook, and even Google. All those big tech giants are now being considered, you know, a monopolistic in terms of in their industry, in their field, in their realm. That's why, you know, Congress has issued them, you know, I've been grilling them in terms of, you know, in their unfair practices of, how they deal with regular consumer charging them, you know, especially for Apple in terms of their, uh, you know, uh, dealings with uh, Fortnite banning them, and then with uh, cloud gaming, they're against that and so forth. So there's a lot of things going behind the scenes that you know we're seeing there's turmoil there. But you know, Apple is still moving forward, right? Obviously, this is a good strategy for them to capitalize on what they're not good at. And, you know, how do they, how do we know? How did the rumor started? Because there were reports that, I think it was here, let me see. There were reports that, yeah, uh, there, there were job posting regarding search engineers. So, which obviously, it's a big hint that companies like, in this case, Apple is looking for people who has the technical background to be able to, create. how do you create a search engine here? Okay. Now, obviously, Apple is still years behind or even decades. They have a lot of catching up to do, but with enough resources, without, with, with all the backing from the company, I think they can uh, compete with Google here. Obviously, competition is better, but, you know, at the end of the day, Apple, what will they become, you know, in terms of you know, their product offerings? So, we'll have to wait and see. And, you know, in terms of me saying the world domination, well, it's getting there, it's getting closer, and on a, re a related topic. So this year, so despite the, the pandemic that's happening, you know, businesses are doing poorly, sales are down. No, Apple is still doing well, tremendously at that. In terms of, they still plan to release their latest flagship phone, which is the iPhone 12 later this year. But before that, because of the pandemic, you know, the supply chain problem, they primarily plan to focus on releasing the lower budget or lower tier phone uh, sometime later this year before the iPhone 12 release. So they expect to sell as much as 75 million units. So that's very, uh, I wouldn't say promising, but that's, you know, very optimistic, right? So meaning they've already projected that there is a demand for their product. So in terms of expenditures, they still expect people to spend, you know, hundreds or even thousands of dollars for their product. 
And what's ironic here is they're asking their suppliers to be able to meet the requirements here. Now, whether that that happens or not, time can only tell. And they not only plan to release the uh, iPhone, the latest iPhone here, also the low, lower tier iPhones, a cheaper one technically, which would have 5G wireless uh, technology as well as different sizes and so forth and other products such as the iPad Air will be released also later this year and Apple Watch as well. So something to look for if you're an Apple lover here.